Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Asonation here. Today on the episode we are looking at five symptoms of um, low transmission fluid or five symptoms of a failing automatic transmission. So number one um, is delayed shifting or delayed engagement. So this happens when you shift into drive or you shift into reverse, there will be a delay from the time which you engage the actual gear and when the gear engages when you will feel there is movement uh, in the car so if you shift into reverse or shift into drive and then the car takes a few more seconds before it actually engages you are running low on transmission fluid number two um which is related to number one uh delayed shifting when you're driving so if you're driving and then you notice your car takes longer than normal to shift gears for instance you're in second gear and then the car takes longer um revs higher before you change gear without you flooring it then uh, that means you also are running low on transmission fluid number three we have hard shifting if you notice that your car shifts gears shifts very hard it feels like somebody has um, hit you from behind or it feels like you've um, knocked something under your car uh, that um, when it shifts there is a jolt you either uh, jolt forward or backward there is that gook sound then that means uh, your transmission is running low and therefore it is shifting hard all this happens because your transmission fluid does three main things your transmission fluid is the coolant for your transmission it cools down the transmission and then it lubricates the transmission and then lastly uh, it pressurizes the transmission to power it to run so from that we'll move to number four number four if you notice that your transmission is uh, losing power or your car is losing power uh, when you change gears from reverse to drive um, either way when you are on a little incline or uh, some few pebbles that are under your tires then the car strains to go over them or strains to start moving you have to press it harder then you're also running low on transmission um, fluid that one will take us to number five number five is transmission slipping actual gear slipping so this happens that when you're driving on the highway then you notice uh your engine revs will start going higher so the engine gains speed but your transmission doesn't uh, catch up so your engine speed is higher than the actual speed of the car that means your transmission is slipping so you will notice when your car just um, before it changes gear um, the revs go higher but the speed is not high up not really like how the cvt works but if you notice that then your transmission is slipping gears and then lastly which comes as a bonus will be a total failure of um, transmission to engage gears for instance uh, you will get into your car, start it, then as you shift into gear, you will find the gear lever is into the desired gear position, let's say drive or reverse, but the car will actually not move. Um, however hard or however longer you press on the gas pedal, but the car will not start moving because the car actually is... Um, and not engaged on only the lever is engaged into the desired gear but the transmission itself it's not engaged because there is not enough pressure built by the fluid that is remaining in the transmission to actually make the uh, the gear shifts and those are uh, the top symptoms of low transmission and those are the top symptoms that would make you um, go for a transmission uh, service or a transmission flash thank you very much if you're new here please remember to subscribe um, uh, watch more of our videos click on the bell icon to make sure that you are notified anytime we do a video you're the first one to be notified thank you cheers wait wait don't go the last true uh, bonus is transmission overheating so if you find you have um, error codes of um, transmission 
temperature too high or just the sign of the transmission overheating then that also means you are running low on transmission fluid this can also happen when all these things can also happen when uh, you don't actually have your transmission running low but it has never been attended to uh, only that the viscosity of the fluid has deteriorated uh, the strength of the fluid has gone too low until it is not uh, serving its purpose anymore yeah so transmission um, uh, overheating is the last one thank you guys cheers